Hi. Lately I've been doing a lot of cult videos. I thought maybe I'd slip a Smith & Wesson in on you here. This one here is a Smith & Wesson Model 29-2. Made in 1980. That's right, it's a Dirty Harry gun, except this one's got a 4-inch barrel instead of a 6.5 like uh, the one in the Dirty Harry movies. And these are just a beautiful Smith & Wesson. Six shot, 44 Magnum. The markings to show up here. And this one is just about in as close to perfect condition as you're going to find in a used gun. And a 44 Magnum and a 4 inch barrel, it, it is a handful to shoot. But it is a lot of fun. What they always said about the Model 29 with a 4 inch barrel was that if you're walking around in bear country, if you shoot at the bear and you miss him, the muzzle flash will probably set him on fire. <laughs> this beast does have quite a bit of muzzle flash. Got a good sight picture. Red ramp. And like the Smith and Wessons of that time, it's got a very nice smooth action. Single action pull is excellent on it. And usually, uh, when I take this out to shoot, I usually don't shoot full power loads in it. I either shoot uh, uh, my medium warm uh, reloads in it or 44 special. But sometimes I take full power loads out to play with on it too. But with a 240 grain cast lead bullet about uh, 1,000 or 1,100 feet per second, it uh, considerably that's considerably warmer than a 44 special, but uh, it's not up to normal 44 magnum levels. It is just a joy to shoot. Very nice gun, very nicely finished. Got that nice Smith and Wesson blue. Even the grips are in great shape on this. When I bought it, I don't know how many rounds that it had through it. Uh, couldn't have been very many. I've taken it out and shot it a fair amount, but I've always been careful about not getting it scratched up. I don't think this thing has ever been in a holster. Maybe not the most practical of guns, but it is a lot of fun. Just look at the finish on that thing. And it shoots just as good as it looks. Now the Smith & Wesson, uh, oh, let me show you this here. If you're looking for the, for the model number on a Smith & Wesson, you'll find it right here under the crane on the frame. And when you're looking for the serial number on most Smith & Wessons, you'll find them on the bottom of the grip frame. On a gun that's got target grips, you have to remove the grips to be able to see it. And some of them will have the serial number uh, on the frame here as well. Some, some do, some don't. A lot of times what you'll find on the frame and on the crane, aside from the model number, is just assembly numbers. So that de you know that depends on the, the particular gun and when it was made and so on and so forth. But I uh, thought I'd give you a quick look at this one here. And usually at the end of a video I do a shout out. And this time I'm going to modify that just a little bit. I'm instead of doing shout outs for uh, a channel I'm going to do one for uh, some particular videos that I've found that uh, are just, they're gun related, but they are comedy videos and they are just hilarious. 
fellow by the name of AB Superman has made a couple of uh, videos that are just roll on the floor funny and I'll uh, put uh, links to these videos in the description of uh, this one this video but anyway his two uh, comedy videos number one is I hate Glocks and the other one is I hate the 1911 and especially on the 1911 video be sure to watch till the end uh, some of the funniest parts are right at the end when John Browning takes his revenge on on AB Superman and another one that I would like to recommend for, to you is uh, a little uh, video that was done by Tadpole uh, 696 and he did a little uh, parody of uh, uh, Pete's uh, The Armory Channel the early days it's pretty good too so like I said I'll put uh, links to those uh, videos in the description of this one and uh, thanks for watching